Hi Libra, it is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for February. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are just going to see whatever comes up for the month of February. This is for Libra. Mmm, wonderful. You know, we can't, I can't put that away. I can't. I mean, that, it fell out for a reason. There is a card behind it. I can't wait to see what it is. But be prepared for some sort of upheaval. Now, this this happens to clear things out to bring in something better. Some sort of foundation is crumbling. Okay? It's crumbling. But it's meant to crumble for a reason. It's going to it's it has to crumble to bring you in what you need. Okay? Ah, uh, yikes. You know, I'm not sure if you're dealing with an Aries, but we have the emperor. Um, this is a father figure. Oh, God. Um, you know, something is falling apart, and it's not something that you can control. Things may seem a little chaotic. Things may feel um, definitely out of control, and you may even be angry. You may get angry over this breakdown. I mean, you know, I can't, I can't put these away and just pretend this isn't going to happen. Okay, I'd like to. I'd like to. Somebody could be. Uh, really not just giving up on a situation okay we're gonna get some more cards something out of your control. The universe is in control. And you may feel at a loss because you can't control it. Somebody else is in control, right? The universe. Now, we have two universe cards in this deck. I mean, we have more than two, but really two prominent ones. The universe is in control. You may feel like you can control it. You may want to try to control it. You might feel a little disorganized and uh, upset for sure. That something is probably over. That is leaving you feeling incomplete. You know, you didn't get the closure that you wanted. You may feel like there's unfinished business and you are upset. It's going to be emotional. And you may feel a little unstable. And I'm getting the chills. You may, there may be some tears that are shed. Because something is falling apart. And this is, I'm not going to pretend, okay? I'm not. And you can't either. And you may even be angry with me. And that's okay. This is something that, this is an opportunity that isn't... It's no longer feasible, okay? It's no longer secure. It's not going to change, okay? Something isn't going to change. This isn't. This person isn't going to come back or they're not coming forward. It's completely stopped. You may have been waiting for an apology or waiting for <coughs> something that isn't coming. And there's definitely going to be... Um, You know, you're going to feel down, really down. You may feel like you can't get out of bed. You may feel like you need sympathy. You may feel like this is unreal. You may feel like um, lethargic even, okay? Because something, it feels like something that 
you really were happy with at one time at least is coming to a close and you probably aren't going to be it's going to make you feel really emotional and withdrawn put it that way i gotta get a drink <coughs> because i'm just like swelling up it may be hard to communicate with other people you may want to withdraw you know be silent you may want to just totally withdraw from the outside world right now because something is being removed that doesn't make you feel comfortable. <clears throat> Somebody is giving up on a situation. A door is closing, okay? Somebody has no fight left, okay? They just don't have any fight left. They don't have any desire to put any more effort. It's over. It's like the passion has died. The, you know, the ability to... Um, focus and concentrate and put in any effort at all to make something work is just gone it's gone okay i feel like it's definitely going to be emotional there's no doubt you're going to it's going to be an emotional month it's going to be an emotional month because i feel like somebody wanted more relationship growth okay Somebody wanted to head in a direction towards divine love, right? And in order to do that, they had to follow their heart. And I feel like, because you guys see what's right here. Somebody had to follow their heart in a different direction. I'm sorry. And you, you probably realize now that this person is not coming back, whoever it is. I don't know. You are going to receive emotional support from somebody. But you may not be willing to accept it. You may not be willing to communicate at all. I see emotional and like total silence. I just need to, you know, I want to be alone. I don't need the hermit card. I can see that you're not going to be able to master your emotions. You're probably going to, you know, really need to be alone. You're going to be upset. I think I see somebody being very, very upset. Um... And thinking negative, you're not going to be feeling optimistic about the future, about love or about uh, happiness. I don't see a lot of optimism here. I'm sorry. I'm not going to pretty it up and pretend that there is. I mean, I'm not. There's anger. There's anger and being very emotionally upset over a loss. There's a loss here. And it is really... forcing you to give up i mean you you understand that there's there's this isn't going to you know you can't change it Whew. yeah there's no there's no focus no concentration. You probably won't be able to focus. You're not going to be able to focus much because of this loss. It's going to cause a mental issue. You know, not that you're going to freak or anything. You may, I don't know. But, you know, it's going to cause an inability to focus and concentrate on anything. It's like you're going to feel unstable and insecure for a little while. That's normal. That's normal. Um, bitter and angry and upset. Seriously, okay? I feel like there has been some ties that have been severed that hurt you. They hurt you, and you're probably going to hold on to some, some bitterness over this. You could have been dealing with somebody who had to choose between you and another root or another person, and they chose the other person. Somebody didn't act with integrity. They chose another option. And that's what it looks like to me. Somebody didn't want to build. Somebody didn't, didn't want to apologize. They didn't want something stable and probably left for another option, okay? And they're, you know, this is really, and I know that this is hard to accept, but it's a time to, 
you know, celebrate your independence. Let your friends help you. And I know you're like, celebrate my independence. Fuck you, right? There's an opportunity to be happy again. Let your friends help you. There could be a celebration that you end up going to where you meet somebody else. That's going to, that sees that you're hurting. They see that you're in pain and they offer emotional support. There could be, you could end up going to something, I don't know what, some sort of, who knows, celebration of some sort for somebody else. Or you go out with your friends to, to, to drink or whatever because you got to get over this. I don't know. And you meet somebody else. I'm just saying, I don't know. You got to put in effort, but you may be like, I can't put in any effort. I don't have any effort to put in. I don't have any desire to put in any effort at all. I'm not happy. There's an opportunity for a new partnership here. There is. And maybe somebody had, somebody has moved into a new partnership and that's what's happened here. And you may be very upset that that has happened, but you have somebody else too. But it's not the one that hurt you. It's not the one that, that gave up on the love connection. You have somebody else, but you can't see it right now because I see bitterness and upset and anger. I mean, look at these. We got these three queens. They're all reversed. There's, there's definitely a woman that is watching this that is very upset that she lost a love connection. That the love has died. Same for the males, okay? We have a male that is very upset as well. Very upset. Perhaps that his woman or that somebody else has found another connection. Somebody is massively emotional and upset that somebody has given up. Somebody has given up on the love they have. And they've f moved towards a new partnership. They chose another option. They gave up. They gave up and moved into another relationship. Without getting the closure. It's like there's a feeling of emptiness. There's a fight feeling of loss. There's a feeling of unfinished business. We didn't get the closure. I don't feel like this is over. It's over. And that's where the bitterness comes in because it's like, I didn't get an apology. I didn't, we, didn't, we didn't get to finish this. Well, this, life isn't fair. And you may think that it's not fair, right? This isn't fair. This isn't fair. And you're all about fairness, right? This isn't fair. It's not fair. It hurts. It's painful. You guys are going to be dealing with some pain this month. And I can't pretend that you're not. We have a grieving going on. Grieving over a loss. Knowing that you have to deal with the pain. You have to accept the truth. This is the sort of truth in your hand. You know you gotta, you're going to have to pick your head up again and accept this truth. A relationship has ended. And it's painful. There may be some regrets for not communicating when you should have. For not focusing and putting in effort when you should have. I don't know. I'm not I'm just saying there may be. This is, this is, a, this is a, definitely a very emotional time. Very emotional. You're going to receive some unexpected emotional support from somebody else. This person could be a little bit younger than you, but they're going to try to help you. They're going to they're going to try. They're going to really see that you're hurting. I see that there's somebody here that is going to 
you know, offer you some, some sort of emotional support. It's a blessing. This really is a blessing. It really is. This pain that you are going through, the Empress delivers pain and receives a miracle. So the pain that you are going through is going to bring you a true blessing. And this is a blessing in disguise. It's going to bring you a new love. It really is. And I know a lot of you are going to have a hard time accepting this. But the pain that you are enduring right now and during this month is going to bring you a miracle. It's going to bring you a true blessing of abundance. Real abundance. A birth of a new life. I got the goosebumps. Oh my God. I don't know if you can see them. They're starting to come. They're starting to promet, uh, come out. But anyway, the birth of a new life. Blossoming abundance is coming. And you want to know why? Because you're a beautiful soul. And you're worthy. And somebody sees what you're worth. And somebody sees your beauty. And your prayers. You know, threes of your prayers being heard. There's going to be a lot of praying going on here. I can see that there is. This is healing. You're going, somebody is going to come in and they are going to be a true blessing. You may not see it because you, you can't see it right now. You're suffering. But you're going to receive a miracle, a blessing, a new beginning at the end of this. You know, true pain brings true growth. And that is the truth. The pain that you are enduring from this upheaval, breakdown, loss is going to bring you the biggest blessing. It really is. She is the abundance. She's abundance. Empress is the ultimate abundance. So you are going to receive a gift of abundance. You may not see it right now. Because you can't see it right now. This, it's a grieving period. But it's going to come. So Libra, be prepared to uh, deal with some upheaval. But in the end, you're going to receive a gift. You are going to receive a gift. All of this is going to happen really fast, okay? Things are going to shift and change very, very fast. All of a sudden... All of a sudden, okay? You're going to feel uncomfortable with it. We're going to get one of these. You are going to feel uncomfortable with it. I think it's going to be a unexpected, okay? It's an unexpected of, of loss of some sort, okay? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to scare you. That is, there's more cards. We're only getting one. An unexpected loss of something. that you had really wished for. You know, it's something that you really had hoped for. Everything happens for a reason. They protect you. They protect you, okay? The universe is in control, and that's the way it is. It's going to be a very emotional month, February. I tell you what... rejuvenating rain now we just have the eclipses right that's what this is something is being removed that no longer serves you whether you like it or not and it is going to be painful and anybody that tries to pretend is not being real okay Things that you have held on to that get taken away, that's real. Life is not fair. And I know there's some readers that will only, they wouldn't dare say this kind of stuff. Some will, a lot of them wouldn't. Are they real?
rejuvenating rain, clear the past, heal the present. Physical and emotional healing is occurring. That's no joke. There is a cleansing and clearing of old emotional wounds, like I said, and even a release of past life limitations is happening. All is forgiven. Ab absolve yourself. Forgive others and their transgressions against you. It's time to let it all go. It's time to let it all go. The sacred traveler wants you to know in order for new growth to occur, the old must be cleared away. It's funny, I said true pain brings true growth. They do this for me all the time. You know they do. In order for new growth to occur, the old must be cleared away. This card indicates a time of clearing out what doesn't serve and support you. It can also indicate clutter clearing. If you don't love it or use it, get rid of it. I'm not going to read the rest. Clear the past and heal the present. The past is being cleared. Something that no longer serves you is being cleared without closure. Without closure. Because life isn't fair. And it's going to bring you the biggest abundance. I'm serious. Don't fight it. Don't fight it, okay? Don't fight it. Let it drop. You have, you have a miracle coming. This is a miracle. When somebody delivers a baby and they hold that baby in their hand, it is a miracle. Your miracle is coming. You have to release this pain. You have to release whatever this is for real. Or continue to suffer. Is there new love coming? Eventually. It takes time to deliver that pain though. It does. It does. It takes time. So it could be nine months, ten months. To deliver that pain. To get that miracle. Could be three years. Whatever. It's going to take some time. To deal with this pain. And that's what I got. I wish you the best.